Some of the NRL's biggest stars are in the lineup for Tonga this year, but none bigger than North Queensland Cowboys superstar Jason Tamalolo. We're disappointed that Jason didn't decide to play for New Zealand, but at the end of the day, uh, you know, he's made a decision uh, what's best for him. And I understand where they're coming from in, in terms of that, you know, wanting to play for his, uh, his village, play for his mother's team, his father's team, and the Tongan side. To find out, you know, uh, two days out before, before we play, and that's, and that's the disappointing thing about finding it out that late. The affections of Jason Tamalolo and Andrew Fafita to play for Tonga has been the story of this World Cup in the build-up. I will not be held hostage, waiting on people to open the door for me. I will get up and grind, create my own door, and put myself on, because I am a champion. I am hungry, dedicated, fearless, a warrior of God who believes all things are possible to him that believes. I am disciplined. I am committed. I am dedicated, young, rich, and motivated, completely sold out, all in, 120, committed to fulfilling my God-given destiny. Nothing can stop me because I am blessed and unstoppable. And I don't just say these words out of my mouth. I say them from my spirit, the champion spirit that's on the inside of me. Mediocrity has no place in me. Average is not welcomed here. I am going one place and one place only. I got a one-way ticket from the bottom to the top. And I don't say this for fame. I don't say this for money. I don't say this for validation. I'm doing this for legacy. When I'm dead and gone, they will say there is a man right there who lived on this earth, who gave it everything he had. Failure is not an option for me. Failure does not exist in my vocabulary. For eight years, I walked the block in a mental prison, searching for answers. Panic attacks, PTSD, fear, and anxiety consumed me. But here's what was really going on. God was molding and shaping me and preparing me for this calling. He was preparing me for the words that I'm saying to you right now. You see, the more we go through the fire, the more refined we become. Now fear and pain had stung me, had inflicted me, had tried to stomp out my destiny. But God is faithful. And he did what he promised. For he said to me, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. And you see, I was bold enough to believe that. And when I went around that block for those eight years, every day, I got a little bit stronger, a little bit tougher, and a whole lot bolder. And now, I am prepared for my calling. And I get behind this mic with no fear to tell you that I am still here. The enemy has not defeated me. He has not destroyed me. He has actually made me. I am a champion. I am a warrior. I am hungry, dedicated, and now I'm fearless. Wrapped with grace to the enemy, I'm dangerous. It's not about goals for me. It's about purpose. 
legacy. I'm anchored in grace. God still moves. I am a warrior, blessed and unstoppable. To God be the glory. Dance, I'm the player of the day. Day, day, player of the day. Day.